So at this point, we trained our KNN, <coughs> our KNN uh, algorithm with 450 sound samples, and we're predicting the labels of the test set, which is 150 sound samples that it was not seen by the uh, algorithm, and we will have a vector of predictions. So the next step, we will evaluate our model. So it will compare the predicted labels to the original labels of the test set, and it will, uh, we will have uh, an understanding of how well did our algorithm perform. So there are many um, different um, metrics for evaluation. There is uh, the recall, precision, F1 square, uh, F1 score. Uh, I recommend you to uh, go through scikit-learn documentation uh, to understand how to use all these, uh, these different evaluation tools. But for example, in our case, we can see here that the algorithm got 145 correct predictions and it made five mistakes, which I consider using this very, very basic audio feature, which is the MFCC, and using a very, very basic classifier, which is the KNN, we only made five mistakes. And if you, uh, it already saves a lot of time if you would have to listen 150 different uh, sound samples and check if it's a, a sax, a trumpet, uh, an oboe, a flute. So for this specific problem, it, it, it's a good results using the very basics of uh, machine learning and this very basic algorithm. Yeah? Uh, it's very interesting also to see a confusion matrix that will give us an understanding. So here, uh, Scikit-Learn also has uh, some um, some powerful tools to uh, display uh, confusion metrics that looks like this. So here is the confusion matrix. So it's without normalization, and uh, we can see what predicted correct and what were the mistakes? So, for example, um, so for example, all the cello it predicted correctly, all the flutes are correctly predicted. The oboe it got correct twenty four, but one it made a mistake and it classified as a trumpet. So, the sax, 23 correct and two mistakes. One, it predicted as a trumpet and another one as a viola. No mistakes on the trumpet and two mistakes on the viola that confused with a cello and with a sax. So, uh, it's interesting to notice that the cello and viola are very similar instruments and uh, oboe and the trumpet are also a uh, uh, in the same family of, of instruments, like, uh, and depending on the note where you are, depending how you play, it's easy to make this this mistake. And um, to improve this, we can use different audio features. We can use a different classifier. We can go to the deep learning approach. So there are many different things we can do to improve this. But uh, still, some. Uh, to predict correctly 100% is very tricky. You need very large data sets and you need uh, very good classifiers and different flows, especially when um, the sounds are very similar to each other. But with this confusion matrix, which uh, I'm plotting using these functions here, you can understand what, uh, where are the mistakes. And I can even hear at this part, I'm just getting what are the files, the sound samples that uh, were wrongly predicted? So uh, this one, it's a saxophone. It has a saxophone in its name, but the algorithm predicted as a trumpet. The next one is a viola, but the algorithm predicted as a sax. And you can even go further and you can listen to a, to a sax and a viola and, and to see uh, how similar they are or if they are not so similar and why the algorithm made this mistake. But as a conclusion, we covered here most of the steps needed in solving a classification problem using machine learning. 
so we uh, we're getting uh, the file names. We're preparing the labels from the file names, so we have uh, a vector of labels. We are encoding labels from the string names to numbers. We are calculating the MFCC as an audio feature for our classification. So there's a function here to calculate the MFCC from uh, an audio file. At this step here, we are loading a file, uh, loading the audio from a file. We are normalizing it. We are getting the features. We are calculating the MFCC and we end up with a feature vector. Yeah, so, um, then we are standard doing some standardization, so we, we want that our sets have zero mean and unit variance. Then we are separating our, our files, our sound samples, into a train set and a test set, using this here. We will use the KNN algorithm as a, classific as a classifier. So uh, the object is classified by a vote from its neighbors. In the case, I'm using k equals 1, so uh, it's just assigning the class of the nearest neighbor. You can read more about k and n's here. You can do many other things with it. Here we are creating our model using the k neighbors classifier from scikit-learn. Here is the train part where we are fitting the train set. So we give it the train set and the labels and it will uh, train the model. And here we are predicting, so we give the test set and we ask what are the labels from each vector. Then we are evaluating to see how well did we perform, perform on this task. On this, uh, task. So we had 97% uh, accuracy, we made 5 mistakes. We are plotting the confusion matrix just to visualize what was predicted correctly what was wrongly predicted and at this latest step we're just getting the wrong predicted files so uh, now we already have a model and you can uh, get another uh, sound sample that should be uh, one of these classes that we train the model with so a sax, a viola it should be a similar uh, sound sample like a single note or yeah, you, you cannot train an algorithm and then try to predict something that it's uh, very different from what you train on. Uh, if, if, you, uh, if you train on single nodes and then you pass it a, a very, very uh, long audio file with a lot of nodes, it will not predict correctly. So that's it. This is the very basics of musical instrument classification. Uh, yeah, you can go through the code always using the documentation of scikit-learn, Librosa, and uh, for this very simple example, I assume uh, it's good result. We made five mistakes from instruments that are more or less similar to each other, and we can improve this a lot. And uh, check you later in the next tutorial, Guitars AI, GitHub, YouTube channel,